Don't engage with him. I need your name and badge number. You're you're screwed. You just touched my face. You're harassing me. You're you harassing me. Up. You just touched my face. What's your name? Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. In our world where it's tricky to balance security and freedom, a recent incident sheds light on this issue. In a real-life intense situation, someone from the free press clashes with the police. The whole thing caught on camera sparks a debate about the limits of public and private spaces and how we interpret freedom of the press based on the U.S. Constitution. Come along as we analyze this intense situation where every moment on camera and every interaction between the person filming and the authorities reveals the complexities of our constitutional rights. Welcome to a journey that might make you rethink how you see freedom, security, and the thin line between them. Share your thoughts about the officer's actions in the comments and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos and visit his channel to appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Find the links in the description. Maybe is this a joke? Is this a joke? She said she didn't touch me. She didn't touch me. You just touched me in my face. I'm sorry? You just touched me in my face. I'm sorry? Lying scumbag. Okay. What a dumb that's lying ass. Okay, so what a lying okay. scumbag. If you got a complaint, you can go down the internal. What a lying I tried, scumbag. I tried, I tried to tell She's him. a liar. She's a liar. Okay. If she was an animal, she'd be a lion. Okay. So. Do you want to follow up with this or not? I will. Okay. Do you I will. To, do you want me to direct you to where you need to do that? No, I want you to let me let me be free. I'm I'm in a I'm in a free area. I can be free. I what need you to say nobody back there. He can't go back in that office. Who, who says that? That's who close who, to who says that? It's, close that, to it's a it's a, deputy that's back there. No, in they of that area. they no. It's it's you open. Can't go back there. They no. offer services there. Okay. Do you need services? Back yes. There? What do you need to do? Everything right now. Like what? Tell public me records. I need public records from I them. I need her name. Uh, what's her name? What's her name? That's not, that's not a face of public what's her name? What's her name? Earlier? No, she's no. She what's touched my face and that says she didn't. There's oh, a camera right there. Ayala. Thank you. How can I get Ayala. that? Ayala. How can I get that video? Where do I get this video? Because then, because you know what's gonna face? happen? You know what happens when you lie to the police and you're a police officer? You know what happens? Do you know what happens if what if happens? you if a police officer has physical contact with somebody? And then denies it. There's a camera right there, and she put her hands on my face right here. Cool. So, all right. Well, he so told you how, to how can to I, how can affairs. I get that video? You're gonna have to talk to Internal Affairs. That video is not Internal Affairs. That's public record somewhere else. You giving me wrong information too. Where is it? Where is it? Show me. Show me. Who's got the video? Internal Affairs. Internal Affairs. This is not the police department. I need that video. You guys are giving me wrong information again. Yes, you are. You're protecting this. You're protecting this. What's what? That video is fed to the police department. That video goes to the police department. To the yes. sheriff's office. Yes. All right. All right. I'm going to go uh, to the sheriff's office. Op sheriff's or police? Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. This is not a city facility. It's a city All right. Building. All right. Cool. So I'm, I'm going to go straight over there and, and, right. and, and guess what happens? I'm going to file a complaint. Let's go. No, you guys get them. Cool. You, you guys get them. Awesome. Here we go. Oh, man. And he advised me of her. When, when I came here, the, the, the guy, he said, the female upstairs is not going to like it. I go upstairs and she hits me in the face. Nice. Hey, you were right, bro. There have been many times when people were bothered, scared, or even arrested for filming the police, even though it's allowed. In this video, a man gets hurt by police for standing up and not leaving when told to stop filming. His brave act reminds us how important it is to use our right to film the police in public. A big advantage of filming police in public is that it's completely legal. The First Amendment protects the right to record public officials, like police officers, while they're doing their job. So, if you're in a public place and not getting in the way of the police, you can film them. Sadly, there have been cases where police tried to stop people from filming them, sometimes by bothering or arresting them. It's crucial to know your rights in these situations and stick to your decision. The police can't legally stop you from filming and doing it can safeguard your rights and make them responsible for their actions. When you film the police, you're protecting yourself, your rights, and others. It's important to record everything that happens during a police encounter because it can be used as proof in court. This way, you can make the police answer for what they do. Filming police interactions in public can also help people learn about police accountability and using too much force. It can be a strong tool in starting discussions and making positive changes in our communities. By sharing these videos online or with local news, we can shine a light on these important issues and push for improvement. When you film police interactions, you're making a record of what they do, which can be used to hold them responsible if needed. This is especially important when officers might be going beyond their power or violating people's rights. 
In conclusion, using your right to film police in public is a vital part of making sure law enforcement is responsible. It's completely legal and police can't legally stop you. By keeping a record of what they do, you can make them answer for their actions, spread awareness about police accountability and using too much force, and work towards a fair and equal society. Share your thoughts about the officer's actions in the comments and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos and visit his channel to appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Find the links in the description.